Hey everybody, we're back with the old farmer here that we started uh, without a bandsaw. We did it with tools. And uh, I've got the clothes drawn on. Uh, we're gonna uh, go in and cut these lines in with a V-tool. I'm gonna take this little quarter inch V-tool and start putting in where these overalls will go. And we'll probably have one more video of this guy. Oh, let's see here. Hard to see that strap. But what I'm doing is just outlining where this goes. Kind of V-tooling everything in first. Like that. Come on around this shoulder. Get this one in. And we'll put the buttons on on the last go. On the detail. All right, they've got that. Now, before I get in there and recess that a little bit, I'm going to continue to draw my lines in here. Yeah, this needs to be brought down just a little bit further here. Okay, now I'm going to come across here where the sleeve will be. And I'm just do, using this little quarter inch V, a little up sweep. That's where the hand is, right there. Let me do it right in here. When I get these lines in, I'm going to go back in and recess and make them kind of stand out a little bit more. We just want to get them cut in right now. Let's stop right there and, and come up here and work these right in here. And make a stop cut along this area. And we'll cut back against this. And just kind of make that strap kind of stand out a little bit more. There's a lot of chip cut techniques in this. While we're at it, let's really get in where this neck's going to go into the t-shirt. I can do that with a knife. Let's just go in and 
This is a little time consuming, but it's necessary and getting it done. Just want to make those straps look like they're standing out a little bit. You make your stop cut and go back and cut against your stop cut. Okay, that looks pretty good there. I want, I want to come over here and bring this in a little bit more. Now I'm gonna come around here. Just make them things stand out. Well, I broke my strap then. I'm gonna have to go in and cut that back a little bit more. There we go. Sometimes that stuff will chip out on you. You just gotta go back in and recut it. Yeah, that's looking like I need it too right now. Now I'm going to cut back right through here where the shirt and the overalls will meet. And cut me a little sliver out right in there to kind of make it stand out. Like that right in there. I'm going to flatten this right in here just a little bit more. Right in here. Okay. Now, uh, I... I've got this recessed in here. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the t-shirt down a little bit like this. And come in with a V and go that way. Like that right there. Then I'll put me a little bit, oh well let's see, cut right in here. Make that little t-shirt kind of stand out. And tuck that net in. All right, now let's go on this side and do the same that we did on the other. Stop, cut. And tuck that in. That shirt up in them where that overalls are supposed to be. Mm. 
draw my, take off my pencil lines. Now, we got to make right in here where these straps come at the end, actually. So I'm gonna glue that with a V tool. Right in here. Like that right there. And the buttons will go right in here. Now, let's come around here. And we want to tuck this hand in. Up under this sleeve. And we want to tuck it in the pocket area. That's one hand. That's round. Now we're going to do the same over here. Right in here, I'd like to take, make me a good little cut, wedge cut in there. And start tucking that hand up under the sleeve. And before I forget, I'm going to put my little thumb guard on. Uh, <clears throat> just so I won't cut my thumb out of there like that. <clears throat> now we got to come here with a stop cut all the way around. And start tucking that. hand in that pocket area and that's a good simulation of the way it's supposed to be now what we want to do we want to come across here and make a v-cut and where these pant legs are coming in at so i'm going to use a, a big v here this is about a three eighths and come across there like that and I'm going to come across on the other side. Yeah, that tool could be a little bit sharp. I just hadn't sharpened it yet. All right, now I'm going to make a stop cut across here. And I'm going to start kind of tucking that this up under the pant leg Okay, now we're going to put it right in this side and make me a stop cut across there. Okay, 
and cut back against that pant leg right in there. Okay. Now, while we're in here, let's let's shape these legs up just a little bit. We, we left them. I'm gonna smooth them up just a little. Right in here, I'm gonna put me a little little fold area right in here. To make it look like that pant leg is kind of buckled up down toward the bottom, right in there. Let's do a little bit more over here. And when you make that cut, it can come on down really even this leg up right in here like that right there now I'm going to do what I did here right on this side over here Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. Here, bring it on down this way a little bit. Now, let's kind of go in here and take some of these gouge marks off. And I can reinforce that there a little bit with a V. Make it a little cleaner looking. Up. What are we looking like on time, Peyton? Mm, got about four minutes. Four minutes? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my number 11. And uh, I'm going to start putting some hair in this sideburn area. And this is the... A number 11 and it's about a three millimeter and I'll get the sideburns in there's one sideburn right in there all right, I'm gonna come around, and and you'll notice that I come at I go at an angle, I like, rather than straight up and down. I don't know. I think it just gives it a comb, kind of a combed look. Yeah, while well, we're at it, let's. Let's start some hair in here. Mm. Just kind of take this and 
you want to do this right in here. You don't have to be exact with it. Now I'll do this up here in just a minute. I'd like to get this this area right down here first because we got a bend right in there and we'd be going against the grain. looking pretty good uh, let's get right in here L let me finish this hair up right up here Peyton and then we'll cut off cuz uh, I'm a little little ahead of myself right. but I want to get this hair in all the way across here oh But once again, this guy, when you're doing it from scratch, and uh, it, it's it's a little bit more involved. But anyway, he's shaping up. I've got his overalls in, where his hands at, the hair in. Uh, we're gonna uh, on the next one. We'll we'll uh, work on these shoes. And we'll finish up um, uh, uh, just final details in here. And, uh, oh, we got to put this on here. Oh, I, I didn't tuck that in. Let me do this real quick here. If you don't mind, Peyton, just real. I meant to get this a while ago. It didn't. Yeah, my tools not. But anyway, he's shaping up, and uh, uh, right, we're gonna stop right there, guys. We got the hair in and everything. And uh, we'll probably finish up on this guy, uh, having him carved and uh, uh, on the next YouTube. So anyway, with that, uh, uh, happy carving to everybody, and we'll see you on the next YouTube. Bye.